Hi folks, hope you're keeping well. It's a little after dawn, about, what time is it? 7.30. And uh, it's off the back of a few days of pretty constant rain really. Forest floors sodden and the trails are really muddy. Today's the first day we've got a real break. Birds are loving it. Just as they all go quiet. Uh, today. Rather than come out with a video that's my top five tips for how to get woodland photographs or <laughs> some other amazing invention, I'm just going to share bits and bobs as the seasons change, you know? It occurred to me that th th there's just times of year where you have opportunities and at other times of year you don't. And then when you don't have an opportunity of that kind, something else is an opportunity you have to look at it in different light and you have to look at perhaps different subject matter and right now it's very easy for me to say this because it's probably the most brilliant time of year for photography in the in the woodland and we're into the start of autumn the forest floor is slowly dying back the ferns turning brown the brambles turning yellow it's just a heady mix of colour right now and it's just going to get more and more interesting as the, the days and weeks pass by. So today I've done a bit of recon work on Google in advance just so that you know and I just looked for a trail or a few trails actually that I don't ever remember walking. I've never been that far to a, a border or there's nothing of particular note there so I've never really been drawn to it and I'm fortunate enough that I've got a choice of those, those trails and paths in and around this area. So I've just picked on a place where I think there are some, well, I'm pretty sure there are remnants of old ancient trails, which may bring us an ancient oak or two. You can't, you can't really tell with Google Maps whether or not you've got any ancient trees from above. There are areas of mixed woodland down here. <laughs> Morning, ladies. <laughs> and there are uh, swathes of uh, pine forest. And that was the thing that tripped me over to coming to this location. Coming back full circle to, there are times of years where you have more opportunity than others for shooting certain things. I suppose if this was a tip, <laughs> it would be to try and find a pine forest to shoot at the beginning of autumn. And that's a little counterintuitive because typically a pine forest is evergreen. So why would you come to an evergreen forest in the hunt for colour? Sounds a bit odd, I know. However, a pine forest is never only just a pine forest. There are always pockets of, whether the birds have bought the seeds or whether one or two remnants of the past live there, but you'll get the occasional larch or birch and oak. You find shrubbery and just unusual bits of growing stuff that's got colour on it. That's the point. And when you've got that colour, that vibrancy in a sea of green, that's, that's the shot. That's, that's the target. Now, honestly, I haven't got a clue whether or not I'm going to find any of that today. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to break my camera out. Uh, I, I'm that unsure about the, the place I'm going to. But right over here, we have a bank of silver birch, which I wasn't expecting. So I'm going to head on down through there in a moment and make my way along these trails and see what we come up with. Obviously, if I find anything, I'll uh, set my gear up and bring you back. And if I find anything resembling an ancient tree, I'm going to try and get us a, an unusual perspective on there this morning as well. So let's see what happens. I'm just taking a moment to think about where I am. <laughs> what a challenge, eh? 
What a challenge. I'm here to shoot something I can't see, but I can feel it's here. I know it's here, I just have to find it. And I guess that's part of the thrill. It's like a hunt, it's like a treasure quest. There is a very good chance, let me say this, there is a very good chance I'm too early and Autumn really needs to take a grip before this becomes a viable activity. I can take images here all day long, but I'm not shooting Autumn. I'm not capturing that initial twist into the season, you know? And that's my goal. I'll be disappointed if I don't come away with at least something. But I've just been, I've just been thinking about not having these tips videos in concise little chunks because I mean I don't think I've ever had one of these top five tips to XYZ when do we follow them actually you know we might pick a tidbit up here and there but I find more value in watching somebody do something then I can go and do it or, or try it or you know whatever so I think I, I'm I think I'm just gonna I'm just gonna stick with that plan. I'm just gonna just gonna come out, shoot the seasons, try and note it as I am now. What am I doing? Why am I doing it? Where's the opportunity? And that's the key thing for this today is I perceived an opportunity for coming out to a green pine forest at the beginning of autumn to find little pockets of colour. And that's what I'm probably a little bit too early for. So who knows? I'm gonna carry on, pick up my tripod, move my feet and keep my eyes open. I'm not in a rush just now. I'm, I'm, that's the reason I took a moment to just say, say a few words, but the reason I'm in not too much of a rush is because over in that direction, we have the sun rising just there. And it needs to get to about there for it to clear the canopy and then it'll start to feed into here. I'll just mention one other thing. Fly, sorry. What's off? Uh, just one other thing. Um, when you come somewhere new, especially in the UK, if you're in a pine forest and you look around and it's just a sea of trunks, you have to kind of search for the greenery up, up there somewhere. Then this guy gets introduced and your photographic opportunities just disappear. So it's kind of a, a, a static, uninteresting, mostly, vista. There's very little about it. But always try and look through the forest. That's the tip. Always try and look beyond this current forest. Because as I do that here, in that direction, over there, it's just a sea of trees. And if I swoop this way, the opposite direction up towards where the sunrise is it's the same it's just a sea of the same but if I take a look over that way which is heading north it's dense and it's taller than the or as tall as the pines all the way along there look there's a tree line and this trail is going straight towards it which tells me that's where I want to go and unless we look beyond the pines, often it's the case we get overwhelmed. I personally get overwhelmed by what's in front of me. But over the years, I've slowly started to look beyond and it really helps. It really helps decide where to go, what you're looking at. And more than that, from a photographic perspective, you start to absorb more of your surroundings. You see colour in the trees because you're looking further and you see a pocket over there somewhere so you might go investigate. The environment is much more than what we can see in focus. Check out the horizon, even in the woods, especially in the woods. Okay, I think I've had enough rest. We've given the sun a chance to get a little higher, but in actual fact what's happened is the clouds have built as well. Forecast for today, just to be clear, was grey, rainy, Light rain, 40 odd percent chance and cloud. It doesn't look like it's gonna disappoint on either front. So this could be a complete scotch visit. I might not even break my camera, I've said that once already, I think. 
If I haven't, I should have done. <laughs> but beautiful, so come on, let's move on. Heading up into this mountain of trees, let's see what's over there. A bit of drone footage because the sun was really really challenging me like we didn't have any <laughs> um, the autumn colors are here in tiny little pockets and I've been fighting really hard to get something worthy of bringing you back for but I'm just too early I'm just too early however where this particular wood is the sun obviously comes up directly opposite or well, behind you opposite me and this is the end of the wood after this we're into uh, farmland and it goes off for miles <sighs> why am I telling you that I'm telling <laughs> I'm telling you that because 
I'll be back. I'll be back here because the sun, after it reaches eight o'clock, starts to filter in. And let me just show you some of this light up here. On, I know it's not great on this GoPro. Oh, excuse me, getting bitten. Uh, where these oak limbs, they're not particularly ancient oaks or anything like that, they're just oaks. They're lovely and the sun's just catching them. The higher the sun comes, the more direct light they'll receive and hopefully the forest floor stays in a little bit of shadow. So that's nice. And then let me just come over here. With the sun coming up over here, we get these beads coming into the forest and this goes on for about half a mile. I've walked in from over that direction all the way around here and snaked all the way through. Um, so there's lots of diagonal light being cast through early in the morning. So this is going to be lovely in winter as well. Now these leaves are going to shed. We've got a lot of oak, some beech, some birch, I think some larch down there as well. But the sun is coming up here and you can see the rays coming into the forest. It's really beautiful. And we've got, I hope the GoPro can get it. Just here, there's a little flock of insects in the sunlight. And they, as the sun's moving, they keep chasing the warmth. They're following the sun. I've been watching them for about 15 minutes. And it's, uh, it's amazing. It's just amazing to see. There were a couple of moths, big moths, I'd say two inch across chasing each other around a tree trunk and they were going up in a spiral. <laughs> it's like I've never seen anything like it before. And the sun was lighting them on one side, they were happy as Flynn or Larry or Bill or Ted or whoever else is happy right now. Me, I'm happy right now. One thing that caught my eye, it's out the sun now, but I did get a shot of him, was as I walked up to this and noticed the little insects in the in the sunlight, there's a a web just here in the tree. Sorry for you arachnophobes, but a spider in the middle. He's not caught a thing, bless him, but there's all these insects you know, teasing him and he's just sat there patiently waiting. But the sun was catching him as I got here. As it is just down there somewhere, more cobwebs getting some sunlight. But I don't really want to get in amongst the bitey things. Look at that light. I'm going to take a shot here. I'm going to just take a shot here. Just because there's that brown in the in the canopy there. There. I've got no amazing shots. I've just got shots. I'm just snapping and I'm just taking note of where I am. Uh, it wasn't a, a recce. I didn't plan on thinking about coming back here routinely, but now I have visited. Moral of the story, I suppose, is don't underestimate these trails that are out the way on the edge of forests and woods because they hold all sorts. And uh, it's been an absolute pleasure to be here this morning. Anyway, I'm not going to waffle through any compositions today. I'm just going to take my shots, grab what I can as I wander through. I won't have any uh, magnificent compositions, I won't have anything noteworthy today, I'm sure. But I'll take my shots, I'll process them as usual, I'll pop them up at the end. Hopefully the drone footage was an improvement on the first attempt. That got a bit uh, nerve-wracking this morning. But uh, we survived, we survived, so all is good. And I think that's going to be me. I'm going to make it a short one this week. I guess the message from today really is Try and think about the season and what it offers. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Try and think about the season and what it offers and where presents the greatest opportunities because that's a place to visit. We don't all want to go out to the highest mountain and the longest river and the, <sighs> the most desolate deserts, you know. If you're in your local woodland trying to shoot nature, try and tie where you go with the season. And that is my message of the week. <laughs> Hopefully one or two of these shots might be okay. Okay, enough. Enough waffle. It's woodland photography.
they're not always complete images, white borders, perfect. Sometimes we're just going out to work it out. And that's cool. Really cool. Enjoyed this morning. So, until next week, I thank you most sincerely for watching. Please take care of one another. And as ever, if he falls in a hole, if you can't be good, you know the drill. Just be careful. And I'll see you very soon. Take care. Bye for now.